good morning, good morning, guys. As you guys can see, it is still very, very foggy. But at least now we have daylight, right? So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and give it a try and see. Uh, I think now we should be all right, you know? Like this is what it was looking like last night already. And so, I mean, then you have your, your lights icing up and stuff like that you can't see very far especially when it's dark to top it off yet right so uh, I decided to pull her over into this uh, co-op fueling station here and just kind of park there so uh, now we should be okay I think because it's daylight it's not pitch black dark right and all that stuff as far as I can see, nobody's coming, so we're going to go ahead and get on it. Plus, they do have a little bit on the on-ramp here, too, so still nobody is coming. So, uh, anyways, let's go ahead and hit the, hit the road up here. On this road for we have uh, 128 kilometers to go yet to get up to uh, Saskatoon to my delivery, but... Uh, before I can actually make it all the way there, I'm going to have to uh, go into the Flying J and fuel up because uh, I'm at like half a tank of fuel. I could make it up to, uh, I guess, Regina, but that's pushing it a little bit. So uh, I'll probably just pull into Saskatoon to the Flying J up there and uh, get me some go-go juice there and then continue on, right? But. I couldn't even see the town up here yesterday, like that's how dark it, uh, and, and foggy and everything it was. And you can't really even tell that there's a town right now as we speak. And my uh, <clears throat> my buddy Todd just called me here a little bit ago and he said, there's supposed to be a Tim Morton's up here somewhere yet. You can't see where it's at. So this is the reason why I decided to call it a day, right? And why I told this patch, I'll wait till the sun comes up, till we get a little bit of daylight. So at least we can see something, right? Anyhow, let's see if we can make it safely to Saskatoon today. Coming into Saskatoon, Saskatchewan right now, guys. Yeah, we finally made it. And as you guys can see, the, the trees and everything is covered in uh, an ice fog. You guys see that? All of them are completely white because of all this ice fog that we've had since yesterday already. Right now I'm about uh, 15 kilometers away which is about nine and a half miles away from uh, making it to my customer and uh, I called him this morning and told him that I'll be a little bit late this morning because of the ice fog and all that so uh, they uh, had no problem with that so hopefully that is going to be the case when I get there yeah so let's make our way down there and uh, hopefully we can all get all three of these deliveries off today though we'll see what happens right yeah, that's just how it goes but look up here to the right on how white these trees are they're all covered in ice eh Anyhow, let's make our way to our customer and get these loads off. I actually have two deliveries to make up here in Saskatoon and one in Regina. So we got a little bit of work to do yet today. All right, guys, we have made it to our customer. We are now backed into the dock. But well, look at this. Ooh, yeah. That's the kind of frost I was talking about <clears throat> that they have everywhere here on the trees. And let me... Uh, show you guys even these trees up here all these plants everything <clears throat> is really covered with ice yeah look at that that looks cool doesn't it i like that <laughs> yeah but anyways we are here making our first delivery as you guys can see and yeah, it's a little bit cooled outside but it's it seems like it's slowing down with the uh ice fog and all that so that's kind of nice but anyways let's wait till he uh, finish uh, finish 
offloading us and now we'll head to the next place right all right we just got offloaded here at the first delivery now we gotta try and get our way out of here man i'm telling you delivering to some of these stores <clears throat> that is never easy i'm telling you guys oh man you got all these four wheelers to deal with trying to back her in there and all that fun stuff and it's always tight oh boy i'm telling you guys oh man so now i gotta try and find my way to the uh, next delivery that's not going to be easy either because uh 100 meters take the entrance the, uh, to the right on highway 16 RJ, highway my gps does not actually have the uh location in it it doesn't even have that street in my gps yet so i'm guessing it must be a brand new area so uh i looked it up on google and i was able to find it on google and so what i did is i just uh put my gps in the approximate area so at least that will get me into the area and then i'm using google map to get me in all the way right so hopefully that will work out in my favor hopefully got 12 kilometers to get up to there so uh should be all right continue on this yeah, road for yeah let's kilometers. see if we can find it right it's gonna be an interesting day i'm telling you guys <laughs> and then once i'm done unloading here i gotta go another two and a half hours up to regina deliver over there and then uh go from there right I am now coming into Regina already guys so you've been giving her for a good while meters. and the right then uh, somebody called me and I was on the phone the until now so uh, I said well I gotta get off here I gotta at least make one more clip here right and uh, so here we are in Regina Saskatchewan yeah we're only, I don't know, maybe two miles away from uh, getting to, to uh, left, our uh, customer up here, but hey, at least we're showing you something. Oh, we're going to get the orange light. <laughs> yeah, well, that's how it goes. But anyways, just down the road here is where we got to deliver our final... Uh, Final drop, we're already finished dropping our uh, second drop there in Saskatoon. I don't even know if I had a chance to uh, even tell you guys about that yet, but hey, that's how it goes, right? And it's still ice fog out there. It looks like I got, I want to say about three quarters of an inch of ice on my mirror. And so yeah, it's still ice fogging, but like I said this morning, at least it's daylight, right? So you can see a little bit. So I'm hoping to go down to York to near after I get this load off. And I'll probably just pick that load up and go straight to a truck stop and just call it a night. Because I don't want to drive in this tonight again. It was bad enough yesterday already, so I don't feel like doing that again tonight. So we'll just, you know, park it. All the ice on there, guys. Let me show you guys from this side here. Holy moly. That looks like a three quarter inch ice on here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's what was my goal there. I wanted to uh, see if I could knock the ice off of there, but we have just backed her into our customer here at the uh, last place here in Regina. Let's take a look at this big chunk of ice. This just come off of my mirror up here, guys. Look at that. That is a big chunk of ice. And even up here on the front too, guys. Look at all this ice up here too. There we go. Yeah, look at my lights. How they are still icing up. My whole front, front grill and everything. Just one sheet of ice up here. Yeah, this is gonna be scary driving this at night. I don't like that, but what can I do, right? I'm gonna try and knock this off here too. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Anyways, 
it's still foggy as you guys can see oh man we're at a shopping center too and before there was a pickup truck parked right there so i couldn't really kind of like back in that way so i had to kind of drive that way and then you kind of guys you guys can see kind of like where i backed her up up to here and then finally that pickup truck over there moved he left and then i was able to pull forward and back her into the spot here but yeah we have made it so let's wait till we get offloaded i think in the meantime i'm gonna go clean my lights and then we should be good to go to uh, get to our next customer to get our load on right well it's supposed to be a preloaded trailer but anyways just finished getting offloaded here in regina a few minutes ago and uh so i went down here just outside of regina which is called baloney <laughs> balgoni eh, not baloney it's balgoni and they have a flying J up here. It's finished fueling the diesel up at least. 200 meters. Turn right on highway 46. So now we gotta go a long ways to get to Yorkton, Saskatchewan, which, well, I guess it's not a super long way, 100 miles. But it's gonna feel like a long way, especially in this kind of weather. Not really looking forward to that, but oh well we gotta do it I made it down here to my customer in Yorkton Saskatchewan guys and uh, hooked up to my trailer well first I had to uh, clean my trailer because this place is uh, hauling uh, food products right so uh, it has to be super super clean so I had to back it up to a dock and uh, they had like a vacuum cleaner with a long hose and a blower like an air blower so you could blow all the dust and everything out of there so I had to go ahead and clean all of it and uh, so by the time I finally done that hooked up to my preloaded trailer and I uh, looked at my gauges and I'm like uh, this is going to be the same thing as what happened to me here uh, at the beginning of this trip this is that same company this is the exact same company that uh, somebody took a loaded trailer to the yard and that I was supposed to hook up to last Saturday right I believe it was Saturday and uh, Lee with it right no it might have been Sunday but no it was Saturday it was Saturday because I remember uh, I ended up taking another load and delivering that on Sunday right but yeah so that's exactly what happened uh, the other guy didn't care right he just went home with it and uh, but I went and scaled it excuse me <laughs> yeah man so I went and scaled it and I was 430 kilograms over on the gross again so uh, I went ahead and uh, came back here to the uh, customer and uh, they agreed to take one pallet off uh, because I took pictures on my phone on what the scale was showing that I was. I was again 16,020 kilograms on my drives and I can only be 14,440 kilograms which is exactly 34,000 pounds. So yeah and I was maxed out on the back too so uh, yeah. They had to take that one pallet off and so now i'm supposed to be 2,000 pounds lighter i haven't rescaled it yet i uh, just went and parked over here in their yard i just kind of mosey on in here into a parking spot so it doesn't go on to on duty driving so anyways because i'm on in their yard right so so this way i can go ahead and get me a good night rest here and we'll go back to the scale tomorrow morning and uh, we'll rescale it I'm thinking I'm gonna be good because I'm looking at my gauge there and looks like I'll be all right so uh, anyways uh, let's go ahead and get us a good night's sleep and come back tomorrow and uh, hopefully we can make it home tomorrow <laughs> anyways have a great day everybody and we're out of here thank you very much for watching and we'll see you back here tomorrow <laughs>